What's going on guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Starter Drone Pilot Tips. Now today we're going to be talking about frames per second. This has been a prevalent topic in the community ever since the release of the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. With the Phantom 4 Pro, we can now shoot at 4K in 60 frames per second, and this has caused a lot of people to ask the question as to what frames per second actually means. To start things off, let's go nice and slow and discuss some of the interchangeable vocabulary. Now, of course, we are talking about frames per second, but there are some other words that can be thrown into the mix that mean the same thing. First of all, we have the shorthand of frames per second, also known as FPS. Next, we have frame rate, and finally, we have frame frequency. The definition of frame rate is the frequency at which an imaging device displays consecutive images called frames. These are measured per second, thus where we get the term frames per second. The term frames per second is not limited to just film and video. We also see it in computer graphics for certain applications, and we also see it in video gaming. Now as far as choosing how many frames per second that you want to shoot at, it can be tough, as it goes all the way from 24 frames per second all the way up to a few thousand frames per second when you get into the higher end cameras. So let me explain to you a little bit about different scenarios where you want to use these different frame rates. So first off, let's start with the bare minimum, 24 frames per second. You may be thinking to yourself, that's not a lot of frames per second, but actually, this is what most movies are shot in, and this is what looks the most realistic to your eye. So whenever you're watching a movie in the theaters or on your TV, it's always going to come through at 24 frames per second. Moving along to 30 frames per second, this is pretty much the standard that most consumer level cameras will be able to shoot at. So let's say you have a smartphone, a GoPro, a point and shoot, or a DSLR, chances are that that will be able to record in some form of HD, whether it's 720p or 1080p in 30 frames per second. As far as drones are concerned, for the past couple of years with the DJI Phantom 4 and the DJI Mavic Pro, we were able to record in 4K at 30 frames per second. Again, this is the standard. Next up we have 60 frames per second and this is usually found in higher end cameras. What this will allow you to do is really analyze the motion of different objects. If you look at footage from the new DJI Phantom 4 Pro that is shot in 4K at 60 frames per second, you'll know exactly what I mean. The object movement is super smooth and super buttery. For example, take a look at this clip flying over the skyline of Philly. If you take a look down at the bottom right at the cars moving, you'll see just how smooth it looks. When shooting at 60 frames per second, you should also know that some sort of slow motion can be achieved. Although it's very minimal, it will still look good. If you slow down, your clips obviously shot at 60 frames per second, down to around half or 50%. Climbing up the ladder, we have frame rates of anywhere between 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second. Now with this, you can achieve slow motion, true slow motion. And the reason that I chose these numbers is because if you own an iPhone, you'll know that the slow motion video setting can shoot at either 120 or 240 frames per second. You can also shoot up to 120 frames per second with the DJI Phantom 4 line of cameras, shooting at 1080p of course. You're not able to shoot at 120 frames per second in 4K just yet. Now this high of a frame rate should only be used for slow motion video when you want to see an object moving. You don't want to shoot a regular video in this as it won't look real. Finally we have any frame rate that is over 240. Now if you guys are familiar there is a channel on YouTube titled The Slow Mo Guys and basically they do stuff, they pop balloons, uh, they pretty much do anything that comes to mind and they film it in slow motion anywhere up to 24,000 frames per second. I've seen a few videos ranging around that area and again this is used for super 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 slow motion. You wouldn't want to film an actual video in this as the file size would be massive. Now you may be sitting here and wondering to yourself, wow, I just listened to this kid ramble on for four minutes about frame rate. I just want to know which one I should use. Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. Jumping over to the DJI Phantom 4 Pro interface, we're going to take a look at the different video sizes. Now, first of all, we have 4K. Second of all, we have 2.7K. Third, we have 1080p. And fourth, we have 720p. With both versions of 4K, the first being Cinema 4K and the second being Ultra HD, we get four different frame rate options. We can choose 24, 30, 48, and 60 frames per second. Jumping down to 2.7K, we can choose again from 24, 30, 48, and 60 frames per second. Now when we jump down to 1080p, we get a new option to shoot in 24, 30, 48, 60 of course, but now we can choose to shoot in 120 frames per second. When we jump down to 720p, we get the same exact options as 1080p. 
So finally, now that I have gone in depth about what frame rate actually is, and after I've listed off all of the different frame rates for each different video size, let's talk about which one you should use. Now first of all, as far as resolution goes, you should always be shooting in 4K. No matter what display you have, no matter what people are going to be watching in, I would always suggest shooting in 4K. There are a few benefits to this, one of them being that you're future proofing, as in the future I think that all displays will be 4K. And even if you do end up exporting in 1080p and uploading in 1080p, it will still look crisper with 4K enabled. Now moving along to the different frame rates, I've grouped these into two. We have 24 and 48 in one category, and 30 and 60 in one category. Now if you see, half of 48 is 24, half of 60 is 30. Now our first category is going to be the 24 and 48 frames per second. Now if you are a more skilled drone pilot, I would suggest going with this, as you're going to achieve the most realistic looking footage. As I said in the beginning, all films are shot in 24 frames per second because that's what looks the most realistic. Now the reason I would suggest shooting at 48 frames per second is because if you want to slow the footage down by half, you'll be able to do so and still get that buttery smooth image. Jumping over to our second category, we have 30 and 60 frames per second, and this is what I would recommend to the average drone pilot. Now of course, there's not many professional cinematographers out there with their drone, and they're not going to be able to get that realistic looking 24 frames per second video. So in my opinion, I would shoot at 60, so that when you export at 30, and if you do end up needing to slow down some footage, the objects that are moving within the footage will look nice and smooth. So there you guys have it, I hope you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Again, if you want my suggestion, I would say that the average person should be shooting at 4K, whether it be Cinema 4K or Ultra HD, both of them will look great, and from there, make sure you enable 60 frames per second. But anyway, that's about it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.